Semiconductors are made from sand, and sand is everywhere. Earth has trillions and trillions of tons of it. Deserts are full of it. But here's the question. Can we actually use desert sand? Earth has over trillions and trillions of tons of sand, but less than a fraction of 1% is pure enough for semiconductor chips. Desert sand is completely useless. It contains minerals like calcium and gypsum, and its grains are too smooth and too fine to purify efficiently. Chip makers don't simply clean normal sand. There are too many impurities to fix. Instead, they search for rare, natural deposits of high-purity quartz, sand that already has extremely high silicon dioxide. Then the real purification begins. Magnetic separation, flotation, acid leaching, high-temperature calcination, and even femtosecond laser purification, which pushes purity beyond 99.99%. Only after all of this, the quartz becomes metallurgical silicon, then electronic-grade silicon, and finally, the wafers inside your chips. So yes, the world is full of sand, but for semiconductors, only the purest grains on Earth make the cut.